I cannot believe I bought this truck. What's up guys? So bought this truck in an auction three weeks ago and I just picked it up yesterday. Um, didn't really see it in person until I actually picked it up. So I was pretty much just going off of pictures that they posted online on the auction and what the auctioneers wrote about it. And it's kind of a piece of shit. So I don't know, I'm just gonna show you. It's a 2003 Ford F-350 one ton dump. Um, I knew it was rusted, but I knew the I knew the dump bed was rusted bad, and I expected this, which easy fix, patch and paint. Um, came with a I believe it's an eight and a half foot V plow. Bad rust on the dump bed. No big deal. I mean, this is you patch it with a weld and repaint it. It's not a big deal. But look at this. This is inside the truck. What is that? There's no floor right here. Inferno I mean, three. The cab's not terrible besides the floor. The floor is awful. Look at this. Look at the other door now. Let's just take a walk around. <clears throat> Same thing over here. I believe these are called rockers. They're just gone. And then I looked underneath here. They got a freaking street sign for the floor. A street sign. So this, this was a city truck um, in New York and cosmetically the truck is shot. Needs a ton of work. Mechanically, um, all I can think of that it needs is a starter because it won't start by yourself. You have to tap on the starter to get it going. And I thought was an alignment because when I was driving it home, if I let go of the wheel, it would pull to the left, but when I braked, it would pull to the right. I thought it was an alignment. My buddy, Javon, um, who's a mechanic said, no, it's probably a stuck helper. So I, I don't know. I'll trust his word more than mine. He's actually on his way here now to um, help me get it started. And then I'm gonna go drop it at his shop. He is going to fix all this. So. That's why we're doing this video. We're just going to do a makeover on this truck and his shop's going to handle everything with the welding and replacing everything. So when he gets here, we'll get this started. We'll take it to his shop and I'll let him walk us through the truck and get his first impression on all this because, and what a letdown this was. Wow. So this, this is Javon from Jay's Repair Shop. He's going to be doing all this shit it's not bad at all my man. no i figured the bed wasn't too bad it's nah. a, inside the cab that bothered me yeah. so the, the, the rockers right here yeah so look under look under that floor panel yeah i see they, they use a, a sign yeah like yep. a street sign yeah that's very common my man is it really <laughs> yeah people do shit like that yo it's sturdy. It's water, you know, weatherproof. You know what I mean? So right. that's what they do. It, you know. So like that. when I was driving it, it's like that on both sides. It sounds like the windows were open the yeah. whole way home. <laughs> <laughs> it's loud as hell inside the cab yeah. because because yeah. there's no floor. Yeah. That, that link I sent you it only had the, the outer rockers, but we might have to get the inner so, rockers so too. So what I was thinking was maybe we could um, rip the seat out because I want to replace the seat with bucket seats anyways, mm -hmm. and just redo the whole floor because they sell floor pans. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you because yeah. honestly, like if you go to that side, I don't even know if you have anything to weld to. Yeah, so yeah, so like that's, the, what you, that's what you probably need the inner rock. And you need right. like the whole structure. Right. You know what I mean, um, well, like you said, if you could take the seat out, you can see what, and you could probably use, you know, make own stuff and get some square tubing or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. And make it sturdy. You know, make it sturdy. That fabricate something. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's not you're not doing it for looks. You're doing it for. Uh, I just you know, need to function. You need a, you need a workhorse. You know right. What I mean? Right. I got you, yo. 
And even this, it looks like, I don't know, we could probably find a replacement door at the shop or something, but. Yeah, I feel like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know. Um, oh, okay, I see which, okay. I got yeah, it. so it, both yeah. doors do see that. See that video, man? Those YouTube videos, they make you think everything's I know. quick and easy I and know. shit, yo. Like I said, you're better off like, trying to find a door and shit, yo, you know what I mean? And yeah, that'll work out, but junkyard. if it gets to the point like, man, dude, I can't find this door. Like dude, I said, you get those diamond plate, you know what I mean? I was even thinking maybe we could just run a piece of angle iron right here just to connect these two, you know what I'm saying? So it's not moving around. Um, I don't know. That's a bad idea. I don't know shit about anything, welding. So. No, anything possible, my man. <laughs> it's just you know, for once, how you want it to look. Second, if the day you do want to sell it, what the next person is gonna think of what you did. You know what I mean? Right. You know, you know, yeah, you know, that's true. So I don't know what this is. It's not a decal. It looks like they painted this shit on yeah, there. Oh yeah, a pinstripe there. Yeah, yeah. Some, yeah how the hell it. do you get that off? How you get that off? They got this like this little rubber thing, like a wheel, like. You know what I mean? And, and so you gotta it'll, scuff the paint up to get it off too? Um, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay. It, the, the thing, the wheel is like a, almost like a like an eraser almost. Oh, and it just, okay. it would just keep, you know what I mean? Just, I was saying, it felt like paint or something. Yeah, but shit, this is truck number one on your fleet, my man. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't need their city name on the front of it though. Oh yeah, you know, that's, yeah, that's not the, you know. Oh, that? No, but I'm talking yeah. about the door. Yeah. The village of New York Mills. Oh yeah, yeah, this, yeah that's no big deal. So that side's real bad. A lot of this shit is gonna be flat stocks, you know what I mean? Right. You know, right. just you know, if you wanna like just hit, scuff up all the old shit out, you know what I mean? So <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm at Jay's repair shop here in Niagara Falls, New York. Uh, John and Jovan are right now getting my truck ready to bring in. They're going to start repairing on it. I just want to plug their shop for a quick second. So, Jesus Repair Shop, um, specializing in mechanical automotive needs. I'm going to let them plug it in a second and just let them know what they do. You ready? All right, guys, I'm with John. Pellegrino from Jay's Repair Shop. I'm just gonna let him plug his shop. He's gonna let us know what you guys do, uh, where they can find you, um, anything else you want to add in. All right, so uh, we opened a shop about, it was uh, September 8th, 2019. Me and my co-partner, Javon. Um, we're fully we're a fully insured automotive and repair facility. We also do New York State inspections. Um, our hours are, so it's by appointment, our hours are from 10 to 6, Monday through Friday. Saturday we are from here from 10 to 2 p.m. Um, by appointment, our number is 716-371-0109. Social medias? Our social media account will be Jay's Repair Shop. Uh, we're on Facebook, we're on Google, you can find all of our reviews. Our website is www.jaysrepairshop.com. Um, for more information, you're more welcome to visit our website. Any of our social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Google. Um, we are accredited uh, Better Business Bureau. And uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know, man. Enough, All right, there it is. Truck, truck, the truck is in. Well, we'll let these guys do what they do.